Okay, a couple of days ago, uh, I went and uh, got a drill <clears throat> and there's 28 of these anchors. What they do, they screw in flush with the ground so when you don't have your pool cover on, they also come up. Up like that. And to put 28 of them all the way around the pool once I get the cover on, that's what's gonna, that's what they're gonna tie to. Okay, a couple things I didn't mention is I pulled this, this had this rail that came up like that to walk in. <clears throat> you just have to uh, unscrew those screws, you screw them up, but don't, make sure you don't screw it completely up. Screw it up about a half inch, take a little hammer and tap it down. And when you tap it, it releases that little mechanism and you pull them up. And the same thing <clears throat> on my lap. I was panicking about this. I thought they'd concreted my ladder in, but once I got in there and looked, there was a little bit of concrete over it and I had to clean the concrete out uh, and around it. And I also bought, uh, <clears throat> I purchased uh, one, two, three, I purchased six gallons, but only used five of uh, concrete treatment. And I did two coats. I did a coat of, uh, of uh, just regular flat, did the whole thing. And then I did uh, a coat of shiny. Now don't shine a lot, but anyway, that, that'll uh, protect the concrete. And that's something I'm gonna try to do every year as well. Okay, this is the way I'm tying these things out. I lay it here, I pull this plastic back a little bit. I'm sliding this, first of all, I'll make sure that's straight. I'm going under this piece, then through here, okay? I got to have me a one foot long skewer. I measure that, then I pull this back over, then back through the top, then that way. And that's gonna give me, that gives me one foot, then this, then three inches out to where my plug should be. And I've got that much room to adjust, so, um, I think that's going to be pretty good. I'm just going to put a, a few on for now since i got to drag it across the pool. And I'm also going to get some doggone fire ants. Lord have mercy, Jesus. Okay, what I just did, I didn't video because it started raining. And I took this bucket and I took these chemicals one at a time and I put them in order that it said on that container. I don't know if it makes any difference. But uh, I filled this up with water. Then I added the chemicals in this. Then I went around and poured it. I had two of each. First one I poured halfway around, got the second bag, filled this up with water, poured it all the way around. Always, if you're gonna do water and chemicals, fill this up with water first, then add your chemicals. Stir it up real good. Do it anyway, I did all three of them. But uh, what I did is I stopped pumping the water out over there. I've got this, if you can see that, but I stopped the water right at the tops of uh, where my outlets are. And I'm just gonna let this run a few hours. And uh, then when I let it run a few hours, uh, I'm, finna go out, I'm finna go for lunch. Then I'm gonna come back. Then I'm going to open that valve up and I'm gonna drop this back down again. And somebody might say, oh, well, you're wasting your chemicals. Well, I put enough, right now I've got this down. <clears throat> it's gonna be probably about 15,000 gallons. I put 30,000 gallons worth of chemicals in here. So yeah, I might pump a little bit out, but hey, that'll be fine. But anyway, uh, Gonna let this run till I get back. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna tear that buffet up. No, I ain't wearing this hat. It is right, <laughs> but it's right here. Okay, got the cover on. Got a few that I haven't, uh, got about eight. One, two, three, four. Got seven that I haven't hooked up yet. Cause I still, I'm gonna need to get in here and screw one of those uh, outlets out and pour some antifreeze into that pipe. Uh, then I'll go ahead and finish it. So I didn't have any antifreeze today, but I'm uh, gonna put uh, about a gallon, half a gallon in that one, half a gallon in that one, about a half a gallon in that, that and a, a gallon through that. So I'll get that done tomorrow and then this bad boy will be done.
Leave a little bit in there like that. That's the bottle I had earlier. This water stain. This is empty. I put that in there too. So that's when water gets in here, it gets icy. The water will expand and uh, it'll keep from uh, cracking this. Okay, uh, <clears throat> then both the skimmers, I poured a gallon in there. That goes in all the inlets, all outlets, whatever it's in. Then right here, I've poured into the water feature. Lucky that fit right on there. That done up. Okay, now the person that, uh, the pool expert in this area, they told me that they don't even, they don't even purge the water out of these lines and they don't even, they don't even use uh, uh, RV uh, antifreeze. So I think I'm going an extra step. So uh, I think uh, I'll be good. Now the next thing we're gonna do is gonna go over, gonna take the filter out, gonna clean all the, uh, Get that all done. That's my...